one thing we know is that when you read the Bible, you can turn every page of that book and you will not find evidence of omniscience. You, you will not find anything in there that someone as smart as Shakespeare, or actually a little bit dumber, could have written. No, right? I don't think that's true, Sam. There yeah. are incredibly the, 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 whatever there, else well, you I, might the, say about the biblical writings, they're uh, incredibly potent yeah, narratives but, 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 embedded but, but, within but them. So it's, it's impossible to write something, it's virtually impossible to write something like Cain and Abel. It's okay. a paragraph so long, so you're, and it's you're saying, you're saying the Shakespeare, the Shakespeare of, of 3,000 years ago couldn't have written Genesis? He couldn't have written Cain and Abel, not in 10 so, sentences. So then, so then who Cain you... and Abel is 10 sentences long, so then and it who contains you... more wisdom than you can, than you can dig out okay, in a well, lifetime. So, so now we're, but now we're getting to the nub of it. Then mm -hmm. you think that it was not the product of a human mind? I think it was the product of a vast collection of human minds working over millennia. Okay, so we and have 